Good evening, I'm Jasmine Thibodeau. And I'm Candace Barnett. Welcome to a special Decision 2019 edition of News 15 at 10. The polls have closed across Acadiana and Louisiana, and we have reporters across the state and Acadiana covering the big races. And lots of returns to crunch over the next half hour. Including the governor's race. Yeah, this has been a big race for us right now, and it looks like at this point, Governor John Bell Edwards is in the lead with 46% and 93% reporting, but he's facing off against two Republicans, Jasmine. That's right, Ralph Abraham so far is 24%, and Eddie Rispone with 27%. So right now, I mean, it looks like it could be a runoff between Edwards and Rispone. Yeah, it would take 50% plus one of the vote to avoid a runoff, so mm -hmm. that's looking harder and harder to do at this point. Yes, and speaking of, so Governor John Bell Edwards, the only Democratic state chief executive in the Deep Red South, was hoping to avoid a runoff with either of two top Republican opponents. And News 15's Breon Martin live at the Renaissance Hotel in Baton Rouge, where the Edwards campaign is happening right now. Breon. <laughs> Jasmine Candace, yes, supporters of uh, incoming Governor John Bill Edwards are still going strong here at the Renaissance Hotel where that energy is really, really building up here. It's so many people have come out to show their support. Now, a lot of odds are stacked against uh, the governor, but um, being in this uh, state full of red hues, he is pushing through and getting the numbers that I would assume he would expect. Now, Edwards has emphasized during his tenure that Louisiana went from having a budget deficit to a budget surplus. He's also expressed increasing funds for K-12 schools and expressing also the expansion of Medicaid throughout the state during his administration. Now, Edward is in the lead. Last we checked was 46 percent and suggests a possible general election between him and Republican candidate Eddie Rospino and a possible runoff. Now, um, I can tell you that the polls, since the polls have closed, these numbers are continuing to come in. And once we get like an official, unofficial um, number going further into the night, we'll definitely deliver that to you. Um, we haven't had a chance to speak from anybody from his team yet, but we are expecting to get some information tonight. And um, he is here in the building. I'm sure they are keeping up with the numbers, and pretty soon they'll come down and give a word to us when these numbers uh, come in. But as for right now, a candidate can outright like win this election if they get 50% of the vote going into this primary. But like I said, we'll have more following this tonight. But for now, I'm going to send it back to you.